right, day 99, third walk of the day. Put the camera on and we'll get going. All right, just finished walk number two. Probably at least a mile from the house. This will be the third walk of the day. Three, three walks today, three over three miles. Record, not really. I did three walk, three walk, little dog. <laughs> A little guy, he's happy. Oh, there's another little dog. <laughs> Gonna fight each other. <laughs> little dog full of sound and fury signifying nothing. The little guys like to bark at everything. What is this? Is a jet ski or something here? All right. See if I can get home in 30 minutes. Put down your, oh, I gotta start the timer. Thanks, for, let's see here. Good thing I remembered. All right, put in your guesses how far I'll go, how long it'll take. Probably be, <laughs> guessing it'll be over, it's definitely over a mile. <clears throat> to get home. Uh-oh, no outlet. Maybe this is where the big house was. I got a feeling it may have been. Well, it's kind of neat walking down these cul-de-sacs. Oh, I don't know where to get to that big, the big blue house. Maybe this was it back here. I'll go see. The third walk of the day. That's unbelievable. 99 days in a row. Now, if you're playing along, write down how many days in a row this is for you. If it's 10, 20, 50. Look at this house, it's nice. These cul-de-sacs have some nice houses, like I was saying in the other video, that the uh, 12 and a half million dollar house was on a cul-de-sac. I think, is this one house? Oof. You never know what you're gonna see on these cul-de-sacs. That's one house. It's a big house. Hello. Yeah. We got a little house built back here. I think that might have been it with the USC flag. I'm not sure. Maybe. I don't know. Yep. I don't know if that was it or not. Might have been it. But I can't see it too much from this side. <sighs> All right. Heading back. I think this is a Japanese maple. We used to have a little Japanese. <laughs> I think it's a Japanese maple, I'm not sure. But we lived in uh, Louisville. We had a Japanese maple in the front yard. And they were really hard to take care of. And there's a neighbor that lived next door. <laughs> and the neighbor's dog kept coming over and digging up the Japanese maple. We weren't too happy about it. And I think they uh, tried to get the dog to stop. And, we put uh, <laughs> the guy that lived next, that owned the dog, put uh, mothballs around the tree and mothballs around the, do the dog's neck to try to get him to stop. Dig it up the tree. I don't think, it, I don't remember if it worked or not, but that neighbor was something else. He had a garage and he painted the garage inside of it fire engine red. <laughs> so. But he opened up the door, all we could see is fire engine red. And then one day in the winter, it got really cold and he had horses. <laughs> he kept the horses out in the field and he thought it was too cold for the horses. And he, br <laughs> he brought them in the garage. <laughs> he kept them in his garage overnight. I can't imagine what that garage looked like the next day. He was a doctor. 
They had like 17 cats at one time or something. Cats had kittens. But I remember him putting those horses in the garage and he, we had a kitchen window and he brought the horse over to the window, put it through it, put its head through the window or something. I think so my mom saw it, scared my mom. Look at this big old patio. We got a nice patio. I think it scared her to death. Had the horse poke his head through the window. Well, I must have passed that house somewhere, but I don't know which one had the big flag. But anyway, those horses, uh, we get in the back of his truck. He had an old 50s Dodge truck and he'd pile all the neighborhood kids in the back of that pickup truck and we'd go ride the horses. That was fun. And the last time I've ever ridden a horse, and I was what, 10, 11? 11, 12. But I remember him putting those horses in his garage. And then he used to mow his yard he worked all day, he was a dermatologist, and he wouldn't get home in time uh, until it was dark out, and he'd mow his yard in the nighttime. He put a headlight on the mower. <laughs> what is that called? And he'd mow the yard at night, if you can believe that. He was funny, all the kids loved him. Neighbors, not so much. There's a long light. It's going on. Here we go. All right. Get across here. Horses in the garage and mowing the yard at night. Oh, and then we had a really big yard. So the yard was probably, I don't know, 50 yards. Backyard was probably maybe 30 yards, 40 yards. He put a, uh, a garden in the middle of the backyard. Uh, I don't know, 10 by 20 by 10 yards by 10 yards and put corn in it. And <laughs> he had corn growing in the middle of his backyard. Again, kids loved him, neighbors not so much. He was crazy. But as I recall, he was a really good doctor, dermatologist. He was a Bronco. And the patients loved him. Then he moved to uh, hometown of grandparents and he ended up becoming good friends with them. Tennessee, if you can believe it. <laughs> then we saw him when we moved, we go visit at Tennessee. Moved to their hometown, same, same area, same neighborhood. And they went to see him for all their dermatological issues. All right. I already walked up this street though. I gotta walk up a different street. I remember seeing those blue houses. So I cut over and walk up a different street. Or I need to walk, uh, let's see. South. Definitely gonna be over a mile by the time I get home. The lemon tree. It's a black house. I already passed this black house. I gotta cut up another street. I can't believe I walked up the same street.
all the streets to choose from. I haven't seen that many vintage cars today. I've seen a couple, I guess. All right, let's cut up here and see what we can find. There's a wooden house. I'm gonna be hot and sweaty by the time I get home. Shouldn't need this jacket. We end up with four miles today. Oh goodness, I'm already at a half. Interesting. Yeah, let's go look at this yellow something or the other. I don't know what it is. Yellow. Uh, what do I think? The, the cruiser? No. What is this? Uh, not a PT cruiser, but a Rambler? I think it's a Rambler. I'm not sure. I think they made them 10, 15 years ago and stopped. Super Sport SS. I don't know what it is. I think it's a Rambler, though. It is a Chevrolet. Well, now that we got that figured out. Oh, interesting. It's kind of neat. It's a retro. Kind of looks like those hot rods from the 20s. Let's see what it is. I think it's a Rambler. It's an old BMW. Let's see what this is first. Well, it doesn't say on the back. It may not say on the side. Oh, I'm not going to find out. Shoot. Let me know if you know what it is. I think it's a Rambler. Look inside. Oh, black and yellow. Snazzy. Like it. It doesn't say on the front either. Sometimes it says on the hubcaps, but nope, just says Chevrolet. I like that yellow and black inside too. So I didn't even, if I saw the front of this car, I wouldn't know it was a BMW. It's like a Celica. That must be 80s. From the 80s, I think. Man, I am definitely going to have over three miles today. That dog used to be called Spot. Two different color, two different colors on his face. No, he's not gonna let me pet him. She crossed the street. <laughs> they look pretty friendly. And here comes another dog, number two. Looks like a pit bull. I'm not sure, but look at the pretty flowers. Yellow roses. Big window in the front, looks like a store. Hello. I don't think I've ever driven on this, this part of this street. I've driven on this street, never on this part of the street. Oh, look at that. I like their little what do they call them? Uh, flower beds on, on their windows there. It's pretty neat. It's like a little cabiny home here. Right, look at their uh, flower beds on top of their, underneath their windows. 
Neat. We got them in the second one too. They're fake flowers, but they look nice. I think I got a half a mile to get off of this street and half a mile to get home. track home here at the windows covered with a screen that's something Got a little cabana going on over here all right well man that house is covered it's from the 50s 60s covered with all kinds of landscaping got a porch looks like a midwestern house nice Kind of Volkswagen van or something from the 80s. I've never been a big van guy. From Maine, wow. And literally all the way across the country. Take a look at it from the front. I guess it made the trip. That'd be from the 70s. <laughs> The Ford Bronco. That's another little dog. He's got to look out for those poodles. The Rivian. All right. BMW from from the 80s, I'd say. Uh, 90s, maybe. I guess it's from the 90s. I don't know. I'm not too good with years of foreign cars. Kind of, kind of tell the decade. Let's see what it looks like from the front. I think it's from the 80s. Yeah, that's the 80s at least. It's not the 90s. Huh. I'm gonna have to cut up here. I'm gonna look down in that big old hole down there. Go down here and see what's going on down here. A hole or something. Huh. I'm not sure I get up through there. I better not go down there. See if that car turns left. I guess you can. I don't even want to stay up here on this hill though. I don't know. I'm tempted to go down there. I guess I'm going to go down this hill. It leads me to believe i got to walk up another hill. But it's kind of off the beaten path. That's why I'm kind of interested. I guess we'll go see. It's a big hill. hope I don't have to walk up another hill. 
I already walked almost three miles. Never getting home. Wow, look at all this. Kind of a nice view up here. Kind of neat. I got a feeling I'm going to get stuck down here. It's a big hill. Look at this hill. I'm going to turn around and look at it. The cars seem to be going through down there, though. One way. That's good. I know I've never driven down here before. That hill. Oh boy, never getting home. Wow. I've seen the front of that, uh, those apartments a million times, but I've never seen them from the back. They got some kind of view. Yeah, we'll go see what's down here. I've never driven down here before. Driven in the front, but never in the back. I got a feeling I end up walking back up that hill. I just walked down. I don't know. We'll see. Probably should have walked up that other hill, that other street. What you got going in here? You know, lights and banners and kinds of stuff. Sucro painting, they're the ones that painted our place. They did a good job. Yeah, I'll walk down here. That's a through street. I had never been down here before. All right, at least we know we're heading home. It's going to be probably at least another mile to get home. A lot of apartments down here, I guess. I don't know, they're townhomes? It's kind of down in a hole. But this street goes all the way down. Kind of quiet, not overly interesting though. Definitely getting hot. <laughs> All right, almost up at the third mile. Goodness. I definitely did not intend to walk four miles. Be a new world record. I haven't seen hardly, I don't think I've seen one muscle car. All right. That's a nice landscaping. All those roses. All right. I'm going to make this the backdrop. Another mile, that's three, and I'm still not home. This will be a nice backdrop for the fourth video of the day, if you can believe it. Believe it or not. Gorgeous roses. Look at these roses. Beautiful. 
Wow. Stunning. Look at all. It's be a nice backdrop for the fourth video. All right. That's the end of the third video. Put a subscribe. We'll put a uh, recommendation of a video you might like. Start the timer. If you guess 1.02 in 24 minutes and 9 seconds, you are the winner. And that's it for this one. All right. Stop it.